Hello ladies and gents, my name is Lady Tina Leader and I had a question in the comment area so I thought I'd address it here. So the question is, I'm deathly terrified of whoever I'm speaking with, they will call me out for changing the speed of my speech because of being nervous, having anxiety, and ADHD. Especially around people I know, what do you say to people and friends you know that will comment or call you out for changing your speech or you sound weird? Thanks, great video. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I, and this is a username, so we don't know what, uh, Illuminati, that's funny. Anyway, because I don't know you, and even if I did, especially if I knew you, knew you, I would be perhaps more eloquent in the way that I say this, but I'm gonna be transparent. Number one, it sounds to me like if someone were to judge you for trying to improve yourself in any type of way, including changing the speed of your voice or trying to improve your voice by perhaps doing a different mouth posture like this versus this, which makes you sound more confident or doing more hand gestures or having a louder or better prosody of your voice in any type of way. And even just being able to communicate, say hi with a smile, things like that. If somebody like like your friend or your family is saying something like, you sound weird, what's going on? You sound different in a very negative, judgmental way. Then I would question their intention, especially if they're your friend, because family, sometimes I get it. You can't change blood sometimes and it is what it is. But with friends, I would think that they would support you in whatever you do. So then the next part would be, okay, am I properly communicating that this is what I'm doing, I'm very excited about it, and this is how I think I can improve. And so a part of it is just being able to communicate in an excited, positive manner that's, hey, look, this is what I'm doing. I'm changing the speed of my voice. I'm attempting to improve my prosody. At first, it may come across as unnatural because it is different. I am consciously trying to change it, but eventually I hope that it's going to sound natural and I'm gonna find my tune. I'm gonna find my voice. I'm going to find my confident space. But in order to do that, I have to fumble a little bit. And it's natural for everybody to fumble when they're stuck starting something new or they're trying to change something about themselves. And I relate to this a lot when it comes to working out specifically, <laughs> maybe you can too. But in the beginning, you can't have the perfect posture or the perfect way of doing a certain curl or when you're doing squats for the first time. You don't know exactly how to do a squat until somebody teaches you, hey, make sure you lean forward a little bit, make sure you're straight, make sure you do this and that. And the technique in the beginning it's going to be uh, heavy on your mind. It's going to be very conscious. But eventually, you do it so many times that you're so unconscious about how to exactly do the squat that it becomes natural to you and you do it perfectly without having to think about it. So explaining that process could probably help somebody who genuinely cares about you and your growth. Then they would love it and then they would see it as something like, wow, this is something I didn't even know you can do. I didn't even know you can improve upon that because a lot of people, they think you can't improve upon how you speak. It's just who you are. It's just your personality, but it's not true. This is why public speakers work on themselves. People in media journalists who come to me as my clients, they work on themselves. They work on how they present themselves on camera or people in the corporate world, especially if you're in the C-suite level, they always, always work on their presentation because they want to get to that next level and that next level and that next level. Anybody who's trying to improve themselves constantly because they want to get somewhere in life, they're an ambitious type of person, then they're always going to be constantly improving on themselves on something. If it's not this, it's going to be something else. That being said, if they know you, you're probably that kind of person that you seek out help. You try to implement that into your life and then you do better in life. You do more. You're not okay with being stagnant on where where you are today and you have a vision of yourself that's something more than you are today and you're constantly working towards that and hopefully someone like your friend or close loved ones will understand that and if they don't I'm going to bring it back to their mindset because a lot of times people do get threatened by your improvement by your growth by you learning because why it's simply because then it says something about them you know unfortunately to be 
very transparent about it. If they are where they are and they don't want to improve because they have their own baggage, right? Whether it's, hey, I'm too stupid to do more or I'm not, I'm never gonna be good enough or I just don't think we can do more than we are because of what I was given in the beginning parts of my life. And if you do something more, if you do something better and they're threatened by that, AKA jealous or envious, then they're going to try to bring you down and say, what are you doing? You're not the same anymore and they try to to berate you and put you down and if that's the case i would highly suggest to number one communicate why you're doing the things that you're doing and if they can't see genuinely how wonderful and beautiful that is that you're improving yourself so you can be a better version of yourself then i would question their intention of this relationship in the first place i've had family members who had this with me personally and this goes beyond just how you speak and how you present yourself it's also hey maybe i'm doing better in my career maybe i'm making a lot more money than you ever thought i would make let alone that you make right and so as we go along in life and as we grow and as we do better when people cannot celebrate us in our good times then they can't even be there for our bad times because they're actually secretly relishing our bad times and you don't want that kind of person around so even if it's a family member even though you can't cut them out completely even sometimes co-workers you can't cut them out completely because you do see them on a day-to-day -day basis or they're somehow in your life at least as of now even just just distancing yourself from them is going to do a lot. Don't spend a lot of time and energy beyond doing one initial communication because I think they deserve that much. But after that point and be okay with them rejecting that and ridiculing that and a part of that is having self-confidence and self-love enough to take that so to speak. And if that's the case then you just distance yourself. You don't have to burn a bridge just distance yourself and surround yourself with people who do support and love you and sometimes that just means going on youtube and watching somebody who love and support you virtually it could be going on reddit and discussing yourself i love reddit <laughs> or on a youtube comment down below and say hey this is what i'm doing this is what i'm improving on with like minded people who are doing the same exact thing. That's where I gain the best kind of people in my life <laughs> is people who are doing what I'm doing as I'm improving, they're improving as well. So joining that kind of community or being involved in that kind of world and just engulfing yourself in that, engulfing yourself in positivity. I think that's so important, especially when you're doing something so difficult and so hard, but it's so important to you, you need that support system. Anyway, um, that is my advice to you. Take it as you will. And thank you for the comments. If you have any questions, comment below. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. By the way, I do have a whole PDF on leadership, how to speak, what words specifically to say, the word for word script. So you can check that out down below, as well as all of my courses and resources. So you can always check that out. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.